So, we will start with good morning, Bobby. One, two, three. Good morning, Bobby. Come on. One, two, three. Good morning, Bobby. Thank you. So, some of you done some PE with Joe Wicks this morning, and now it's time to exercise your minds. So, I am a maths teacher. I'm a BBC presenter for the Monkman and Seagull Genius Guide, a new TV series coming out, and also the author of the book called The Life-Changing Magic of Numbers. It's all about how numbers change my life, and I want numbers to change your life as well. Amber, South End, first time, numbers can change all our lives. So, I'm excited to be here with Explore Learning, with the Explore at Home mission. And what we want to do is keep education going during these challenging times. And if you go to explorelearning.co.uk, you can find more information about booking a free trial. And we love social media. We love social media. Uh, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. So can you uh, let us know how you're getting on with the class? The hashtag is maths with Bobby. I'm just following up. Uh, explore tutors on Twitter at explore learning underscore official on Instagram. And I'm at Bobby Seagull. I'm on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, LinkedIn, uh, and YouTube. So we'd love you to get involved. Show us your pictures of you learning, doing the maths raps, doing the dances, having fun. We love to share our maths joy with everyone. So um, a few more good mornings. Good morning, Evie, Francesca, Daisy. We're all excited about maths. Yes, Evie from Burnley, we're ready. So for people that are new, you're in for a treat. So here is um, our little uh, maths mantra. So people always come to me and say, Mr. Seagull, I can't do maths. Maths is difficult. And I say, really? And they're like, yes, Mr. Seagull, I, I give myself a cross. Like, you know, Britain's got talent or X Factor. They have a cross. How many people say they've got a cross? And then what we say is, one, two, three, go. Yes, I can do maths. Yes, I can do maths. Yes, I can do maths. So Daisy, you're new today. So we'll try that again, yeah? So put your arms crossed like that. One, two, three, go. Yes, I can do maths. Yes, I can do maths. Yes, I can do maths. And that becomes a Y. A Y for a yes. And we'll repeat that at the end. So again, if you think you've got a good video of yourself doing that, I know uh, Gabriel and Alexander have sent some great videos of them doing that. We'd love to see that. Krishav, Edward, let's go. So, what is the curriculum? So on Mondays is Key Stage 1, 4 to 7 year olds. Wednesdays, Key Stage 2. 7 to 11, and Fridays, key stage 3, 11 to 14. But if you feel like, oh, I'm really confident with today's session, you can come back on Wednesday or Friday, so you can keep progressing. Today is all about patterns and sequences, and next week is about ching, 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 money, practical mathematics. So the class is normally about 30 minutes, half an hour. Remember the song, tick tock, around the clock, tick tock, 15, tick tock, 30, tick tock, 45, tick tock, 60, tick tock, round the clock. We did that song before. So, um, 30 minutes of the class. Then I do two minutes of thoughts of Mr. Seagull. How you can think positively about your life. It can help us children in the, watching the lesson and adults and carers as well. And then we do about five, 10 minutes of Q&A that parents can send through. Parents can send through. Thank you. So. Who's excited for the lesson? Who's excited for the lesson? Come on, give me a wave. Who's excited? I'm so excited. And, and it's time now. It's time to get the, the show on the road. We're going to get started. I'm the director of your maths lesson. Three, two, one. Let's go. Okay. So get your trainers on. Get your trainers on. Get your trainers on today. I'm putting my trainers on. Ugh. Getting my trainers on. So we're we're going to get active today in today's lesson. Getting my trainers on. Oh, should have put them on before, shouldn't I? Okay, I got my trainers on. Um, I got my headband on. Uh, where is it? Let's have a look. Bobby. I got my headband on. Seagull headband. I'm all ready. So what we're going to do is we're going to start. Um, some of you done pee with Joe Wicks, and by the way, I think Joe Wicks uh, injured his hand, so his wife Rosie's been helping him out today. Um, so thank you to Rosie for keeping. P going, and now it's time for some maths, but maths with P, let's get the seagull headband sorted. So, firstly, we're gonna clap forward, okay? There is a purpose to this. If adults are thinking, has Mr. Seagull gone bonkers? There's a purpose to his madness. So, do a little clap, clap for me, go on, one clap, then another clap. Come on, come on, do it. 
Then another clap. Then another clap. Come on. And then another clap. What do you think is next? Hmm, shouldn't be that difficult this one. It's gonna be a... Another clap. And what will be after that? Obviously, another clap. Okay, that's an easy one. Okay, let's limber up, okay. So now we're gonna do a, are you ready? We're gonna do set number two of exercises. So it's PE with Bobby. Okay, so now we're gonna do a, a star jump, yeah. Do a star jump, then a squat. You got that for me? So do a star jump, then a squat. Georgia, we're doing that, yeah. Star jump, then a squat. What do you think is next now? What do you think is after that? It's gonna be another star jump and then a squat. And then again, it's gonna be a star jump and a squat. Okay, P with Bobby, we're gonna do our final sequence, okay? Our final sequence. So, I want you to do this. Left, left, right, right, squat. Ready again? Left, left, right, right, squat. Come on, left, left, right, right, Squat. So what do you think happens next with PE with Bobby? What do you reckon is going to happen? It's going to be left, left, right, right, and then squat. So if you're watching and you're thinking, who is this Bobby Seagull? What's he doing? Is he gone mad? Well, I'm mad, but I'm mad about maths. And do you know what we've been doing? Sequences. These are all about patterns. Let me take this headband off and I think I've ruined my hair. And by the way, can I show you something about this, um, this band? It says seagull, but if you flip it round, it says, yes, you can. All about positive maths messages. All about positive maths messages. So these were all seagull. I'm gonna take my trainers off now. I've done my exercise. I need some water. You know, I did some Joe Wicks, doing some maths with Bobby. I need to sort my hair out. My hair's a mess. My hair's a mess. There's no pattern to my hair right now. So, um, we have just done um, some sequences. So, you know, the first one is easy. Just clap forward. And there's a sequence that just keeps continuing the same way. Then the other one we did was, remember? It was star jump, squat, star jump, squat, star jump, squat. And that pattern repeats. And the last one we did was left, left, right, right. Left, oh, actually I forgot. Left, left, right, right, squat. Left, left, right, right, squat. Left, left, right, right, squat. And these are actually patterns that we're repeating in exercise. And what I'd like you to do for homework, Mr. Seagull's homework. So I'm gonna move this board out of the way in a second. Can you create your own exercise following a pattern? You can have star jumps, you can have sit-ups, you can have um, what are these called? Lunges. But I'd like you to create a pattern of your own lessons. So Catherine's asking, what's going on today? We're looking at patterns and sequences. And when people go to the gym, do PE with Joe Wicks in the morning, Joe does lots of things that are in patterns and sequences. So what I want you to do for your homework is to create your own exercise routine. You can either draw pictures or do a little video demonstration Send it to us again at Bobby underscore Seagull, uh, Explore Tutors on Twitter, Instagram, even Facebook. Send it to us and we'll share some of the best ones. I'd love to see it. Francesca says she's been making patterns with dominoes. So Francesca, you're actually going to be reading my mind for the next question. So don't forget your homework. Homework Bobby, send me in a video or picture of your exercise pattern. A bit like my one. You don't need to wear a headband. If you've got one, you can do. Seagull headband, there we go. Okay, so I'm gonna set you your first question today. And Francesca, well done, you've been thinking ahead. She said she's been making patterns with dominoes. So your question is going to be this. If I can get my mouse to move, it is this. Where have you seen patterns in the real world? 
Where have you seen patterns? So I'm going to give you a minute to think about that and get my brain thinking. Hmm, I've got one minute. I'm going to move my board. So where have you seen patterns in the real world? I'm going to move my board out of the way. Where have you seen patterns? So you should be seeing a box. So you should see a box there. Where have you seen patterns in the real world? So I should be able to see some responses. So Lucy says um, dog patterns. Exactly. Uh, patterns with the dog, I guess repetitions. Uh, we've got bricks and houses from Aiden. Uh, Bo says in mosques. In mosques, they've got really intricate patterns. Exactly. Um, flag says melody. Uh, a dome. Uh, who else? We've got a few people saying bricks. Erica so says floor tiles. You see that? Emily says in a school. I should guess in schools, lots of patterns. Thank you, Emily. On snow dogs, Vicky. Hmm. Do you mean snow patterns, snowflakes? We see patterns there. Rubik's Cube. Shamson says we see patterns there. Ideally, get them all matched up. It's wonderful. Lots of brilliant ideas coming through. Um, we've got wallpaper from Sabir. That's true. My wallpaper is a bit drab, but normally you can see patterns in wallpaper. What other answers do we have? Um, any other? Let's have a look at any other people. Shaquilla says on the roads. Yes. You know the, the stripes. They're patterns on the road. Uh, Steve says grooves of houses. If you look outside, you see them there. Wings. Um, Paige says tablecloth. Paige, you're right. Tablecloths often have patterns. Someone says the commando t-shirt. Yep, you can see sort of uh, camouflage patterns. Lots of brilliant ideas here. Lots of really brilliant ideas. Let's see any of the final new ones we've got. Um, Elizabeth from Ealing has an idea. I think she says uh, on carpets, on footprints. Uh, lots of really great ideas. Stars. Thank you. We've got brilliant ideas coming through. I'm probably going to close the poll now. Thank you so much. Nick says on clothes. And butterflies, Mary. Thank you. So lots of wonderful ideas, patterns and curtains. We have patterns everywhere. And I want to show you, again, we're going to see if this works. I'm going to bring up a PowerPoint here. I'm going to show you patterns. See if this works. Oh, it works. I'm very pleased. Mr. Seagulls, please. Thank you. We've got our PowerPoint. So if you look around here, so Elsie says butterfly wings. And if you look here, this first image, do you know what that is? Peacock wings. You can see patterns there. These really beautiful, they call it iridescent. They almost shine and sparkle. Patterns there. Then here, the second image there, we see patterns in real life there. Do you know what that is? It's zoomed up very close. Do you know what that is? That's a dandelion. You know the dandelions where you blow and make a wish? I often make a wish that my team, West Ham United, in the background, that they win football games. It often doesn't happen. But there are patterns there in the dandelions. Then here, this one here is a galaxy. You can see patterns in the spirals of galaxies. Then Erico says shell for this one. Yeah, these are, this is called a nautilus shell. And you can see patterns spiraling out. Uh, dandelion, yes, well done, Bo. Amisha says peacock wing. And then finally we have here a brick wall. You see a pattern, a very neat pattern, emerging. So we can see patterns everywhere. We can see patterns everywhere. We go back, let's go back home. We'll go back to the beginning. So we're going to cons we're going to consult my dictionary because we've used a few words today, patterns and uh, sequences. And let's make sure we understand exactly what these words mean, because in maths, you have to be precise about your language. Yeah, you have to be precise. So getting my dictionary out, let me get some, um, do I have any glasses? Any glasses? I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna check my dictionary. I'm gonna check my dictionary, yeah? Because I'm a cool teacher. I'm gonna check my dictionary. So, what does it say for pattern? I'm gonna see what it says for pattern. So, for pattern, look, it is a real dictionary. For pattern, it says it's a repetition or of events or objects in a particular way. So, it could be everyday life, like wallpaper, sprinkles on an ice cream, or even toothpaste colors. So, repetition of events. But you also use the word sequence. How is, how is a sequence different? Let's have a look. 